Hello, my name is Alexis Lemus, and my group members are Walter Conrad and Elmer Mejia. Our project was an AI-controlled irrigation system. The motivation for our project was the amount of water waste found in commercial irrigation. While it might not sound like a big deal, when you take into account that 70% of global fresh water is used for agriculture, and of that 70%, 40% of it is lost due to poor irrigation, that comes out to billions of gallons of water wasted each year due to just poor water management and outdated irrigation systems. So this image shows an overview of our system. So to give a brief explanation, our system is powered by a 12 volt power supply. Um, we are using a PCB which uses 5 volts, so in order to regulate the voltage, we have a, bulk, a buck voltage regulator, which lowers the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts. Attached to our PCB also, we have a series of sensors that send their data to the PCB, and the PCB then sends its data, the sensor data to ThinkSpeak where it can be visualized by the user. We also have a watering system with an actuator valve that is controlled by a relay. So the PCB will send a signal to the relay to activate the actuator valve. The final part of our project is the predictive weathering algorithm. It is controlled by the Raspberry Pi 4. So the way it functions is that we have weather data being sent into the Raspberry Pi 4, where it is then run through the algorithm. And finally, it is displayed on our Debian web service. The first major component that's utilized in our system is this custom-built PCB. It is modeled after the Arduino Uno. The reason we modeled it after the Arduino Uno is because our initial testing of the system was with an Arduino, so we wanted an easy transition. Everything is connected to this PCB, from the sensors, to the volt voltage regulator, to the relay. It, it sends out the sensor data to ThingSpeak, and it's in charge of activating the watering system. The next major component is the Raspberry Pi 4. It is in charge of the weather prediction algorithm. This is where the machine learning and AI takes place. This is truly the brains of our project. It is in control of the Debian web service and it has all the training data and all the weather data implemented into it. So what happens is we, we send the weather data through this Raspberry Pi where it goes through the weather prediction algorithm and is sent to the Debian web service. The next component is the ESP8266. Essentially, our PCB has no way of connecting to Wi-Fi or the internet at all. So we needed this Wi-Fi module to connect to our PCB in order to send the data that we collect from the sensors to ThingSpeak. So without this module, there would be no way for us to be sent to send out our, our weather data in order for the user to visualize what is happening with their plant. This component is a simple temperature and humidity sensor. It is also connected to our PCB and is just used to collect the, the temperature and the humidity of the surrounding area where the plant is located. Here we have another sensor that's used in our design. It's a soil moisture sensor and once again it's also connected to our PCB and it's utilized to just determine when the plant needs to be watered. This image shows the results that we were getting when we connected all of our sensors to our PCB. So as you can see from here, we have a field for temperature, a field for humidity, and a field for soil moisture. So essentially, the data would be collected by the PCB and then it would be sent out via Wi-Fi and the ESP8266 to ThinkSpeak, where it is then put into these graphs where it can be visualized by the user. I would say that the bulk of our time and energy spent on this project was on creating this system, which is the weather prediction AI. The way it functions is that we had to collect three and a half years worth of weather data and we fed that into our Raspberry Pi, where it then goes through several linear regression algorithms and it comes up with these plots. So these plots are basically it's plotting out the data for the last three and a half years and then it makes a determination based on those three and a half years the chances of it raining in the next 24 hours. And then once that is complete, it sends all that data to the Debian web service that we have set up and it'll tell the user the likelihood that it will rain in the next 24 hours.